You're so welcome to the white carpet here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Gladys or say or redo and of course it's always is so beautiful when i have to tell you all that has been happening in the entertainment industry okay so you know this week it was the talk of town it has actually become the the, the measure the standard for each royal wedding yet to ever happen in ghana i am talking about a typical royal wedding that happened last thursday between nana ansa kwao the fourth chief of edumasa and the first lady of edumasa i'm talking about Awo Danswa, formerly Gifty Auntie. Of course, we will give you a full, solid uh, beginning to end marriage ceremony right here on the white carpet. But of course, we will also get our gossip right here and there, you know, about what people have been saying concerning the royal marriage. And of course, what else should we talk about? We have Majid coming over to tell us more about homemakers. Do you have issues with your homemaking? Well, Majid will be right here to help us through with those issues. And Oforian Ponsa is still under heat after he uh, returns to secular music. Uh, Lord Kenya has added his voice. What has he been talking about? We'll tell you about that. But meanwhile, Oforian Ponsa says he is very much a pastor and he will finish performing in the night club on Friday night, Saturday night, and go back to church Sunday morning to preach the word of God to his congregation. We are going to tell you more on the white carpet because Francis and Chris are standing by to give you their critiques about the issues. Thank you, Ethel, for making the white carpet possible. And of course, optimal hair relaxer. The white carpet is brought to you by Ethel, the smartphone network. You're still with us here on the white carpet. Just in case you just tuned in, you can always send your comments to us here on the white carpet via our WhatsApp number. The number is 0267-844-024. Let's get straight to talking about the issues that happened during the week. Um, I know you are eager and very, very anxious to see what happened at the royal wedding. I will bring you that. But before that, let's talk a bit about Oferian Ponsan. Well, Oferian Ponsan says that he is still a pastor, irrespective of the fact that he is back doing circular music and doing You Are My Queen of Sheba. Well, um, it raises lots of questions, My Queen of Sheba. Um, you can quickly Google for me or check for me and send that to me. Who is Sheba in the Bible um, f uh, to become a says Queen of Sheba? And for a pastor to be praising and glorifying Sheba, we really need to understand what exactly he means. But he has been telling us that emphatically that he's still a pastor for some time now you've been trending pa, everywhere internet everywhere you pass there's a friend one sir. now one thing i want to know are you still a pastor i am still a pastor i mean you can see uh my church this is my church these are my fellow uh, members that i worship with and i am still a pastor but um what came out the other week i knew the noise that this is going to make you know my stand that uh, love songs are not secular music love songs are you know in line with god god's word will become something that people will not understand now but um i'm still a pastor because of this whole noise i have just like given myself maybe a week to go before my god and and pray so that's why i am i am you know uh, i am just like withdrawing a bit but uh, you know it comes in the life of a pastor that sometimes uh, you face a, a mountain that this mountain you cannot you know cross you go to God in prayer so that that is what I'm going to do for about uh, a month or two and, and and see the way forward <laughs> okay so you heard it well you heard him for yourself we have Ben Draco who also has been reacting to Ophoriam Ponce's decision we can take a watch at that too what is God's work God's work should be about people you know what I mean I don't see so I have somebody can say they're leaving the secular world see if it's Satan's world and going to God's world and you know I mean it's all a nonsense of you know uh, boxing things to the extent that it is not real you understand God's work is about people. You know, you can only serve God by seven people. So what's the difference? All right. So let's, uh, you know, push aside the nonsense and <laughs> talk about other things. Well, Joy News Multimedia 
in collaboration with DW Dutch Villa has been roaming town to discover unravel um, uh, I think you, you know uh, when heroes are mobile you know what that means if you don't know that is why you have to just listen carefully to what this is about let's take a watch of the multi TV joy news and Dutch Villa DW hero mobile <laughs> First and foremost, let me say this project or whatever you may term it is quite laudable. And I must say kudos to Joy FM or Joy News and DW. My story, like um, I've said it time and over again, it, it's, it's quite long, but uh, we need to summarize it. I mean, it, it wasn't easy growing up. I mean, in a family about five siblings. I was the last one though. Uh, growing up in school, my mom was the breadwinner and she passed. So you could imagine my dad had already passed and it was quite tough. Um, I had just entered set form by what happened by her death. I mean, I had to drop out of school. But you know, sometimes they say God's thoughts are not ours and his reasoning are not ours. So whilst we may be down, God has a, a purpose. Okay, he comes through. And I found music which had been a part of me from birth. We'll be talking more about Hero Mobile here on the white carpet. In the meantime, do me the honors and just keep calm to enjoy a thank you message. Um, so let me say, help me say thank you actually to Optimal Hair Relaxer. Um, if you're talking about your hair from root to tip and you, you want to worry yourself about which brands to use, don't, don't worry, don't think about anything because Optimal makes your hair very relaxed. It makes your hair very healthy, nutritious. Anything that your hair needs to make you smile, to have that bouncing hair, uh, Optimal Hair Relaxer will give you that to you. And of course, um, if, if you are talking of a network at all, why think of any other when there is only one network that works? Airtel I am talking about. Thank you, Airtel. Thank you, Optimal Hair Relaxer. <laughs> Well, from Agbako, he's now looking for the madman of Boga. You're welcome back. Uh, if you have just tuned in, I, I, I am looking for who Sheba is in the Bible. Ophiram Ponsa glorifies Sheba. You are, the, you are my queen of Sheba. Um, and he still is a pastor. Uh, I don't know. Um, well, tomorrow is Sunday. I need to at least get myself informed so that when I attend Bible studies and everybody is talking, I can also talk some. Glorifying Queen of Sheba, please send me WhatsApp. Tell me who Queen of Sheba is in the Bible and why a pastor will talk about Queen of Sheba. And so um, the number is 0267844024. But of course, the Kenya is definitely not not happy at all. Well, um, we'll talk about that. But um, he started off Agbaku and now he's looking for the madman of Volga. I really want to understand uh, where he will find that. But just in case you spot him, let us know. I'm talking about the young poet and playwright, Oswald. Hey, Oswald. Yeah. Welcome to the White Carpet. Uh, thank you. Would you start us off with some poem? Okay, brief. Yeah. So they say history should be told with treachery and misery. But I, the hunter who never cocks a gun, but gazes a step through the rays of the sun to put words say, History should be told as it were. Peter, Peter, say ni wa de de de. Say ni wa, ma me fre wo. Say ni wa de de de. Say ni wa. 
Seni wade dende, seni wade dende, seni wade dende, seni wade. And when the sun at last had fallen after several span, and the moon had woken up from sleep, and sat beautiful in the clouds of the skies, and the stars from afar beamed to the clouds, their light amid the glow of the moon in the night, then the sweet songs of the wubu swept away the worries of the day. Then men and women in the fruit of their spams chorus in the village swears to sing songs. They sang songs, they sang there for long, for moonshine through the dawn, till at last a new day was said to be born. Mm. Then, which now creep and crawl into the arms of extinction. Then when we got in the village square, and a mighty I, I know if I don't cast you, this place will be turned to national theater. Thank you now. <laughs> <laughs> but that is wonderful. Um, yeah. You do that so comfortably, so easily. Yes, yes. And in fact, that's what I want to get my whole life into. Okay. And then I keep telling people that I've been a poet while in the uterus of my mother. Mm, I see. And so it comes naturally. <laughs> do you remember some of the poems you recited in the uterus? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Nina, there, this Jimmy. one I lie. <laughs> 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 All right, but um, who is the role model when we're talking about poem? Um, Rosanjo. Ah, okay. Uh, so he's a cantor, mm. a cantor poet. Uh, he sings yeah. with his poetry. Mm. And that is what I, I seek to do. That is uh, with my writing, I don't really have any role model. I have so many people. Sometimes when it dawns on me, yeah. I just put it out. I just want to pour out my emotion through words and imagery. But it, with regard to spoken word, and spoken word is the art of performing poetry. Yeah. It's Professor Indo. I, I see. I see. That's yeah. nice. But uh, you, you're talking about finding a madman in Volga, the madman of Volga. Is that poem or play? That is a play. That is a it's play. It's a satire. Did you write that? That play was written by Dr. Gesika Agamela. Okay. You know Dr. Gesika Agamela? I, I have former. heard her name, but yeah. I haven't met her in person. Um, him, uh, former Deputy Minister of State. Okay. And, and finance and rules and is yeah, a car is current are un uh, uncountable. Sure. Yeah. He's the author for some. He's currently the vice president of the um, Ghana Association of Writers. Okay. You know, um, being a politician, mm. he was able to set the whole Ghana in contest in a very good portrait. How to reflect from the faith level, church, um, the politician. In fact, you love that play. I see. And, and that is so the first play I'm directing, not written by myself. Oh, congratulations. Yes. You are directing that play. I'm directing that play. Wow, you have such, such a strong, authoritative person writing a play, and you get a chance to direct, and it's your first time at that. That is great. That wow. Is great. That is great. Congratulations. I'm really, okay. really proud of you. But yes. um, So when do we get to see this one? Because I definitely won't want to miss this first opportunity. This is going to be at the art center. You know, I'm running a revolution to wake up the art center. Mm. Okay. Uh, people will lose sight of what the art center is like. They think it's a craft shop. Yeah. But we have the open theater and we have a main auditorium. Mm. So it's going to be at the art center just after Kwame Kuma Memorial Park. Okay. Only 10 Ghana cities. Oh, this one is like free gate. Almost free gate. <laughs> Almost free gate. Yeah. 10 Ghana cities because we want people to come to the art center to have yeah. a real full of theater. Mm. This is a satire, a satire comedy. You're going to laugh at every word. This wonderfully written so that every line that comes out. Yeah. Make you think, and then at a point, I realize that, hey, is it me? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and because he's been a politician, he talks about what um, the MPs will have to go through yeah. in order to get a delegate, and then sometimes what most politicians think mm -hmm. they are going to get. He says that um, to get a good wife, a yeah. good wife should be a good dancer. And then he says that um, to be rich in Ghana, yeah. you have to chase the two P's. <laughs> I a politician or a pastor. I see. Um, the two P's. Uh, uh, please, the date again. This Friday, this very Friday, yeah, 23rd, 24th, oh, two October. shows, two shows. Okay, that's so if nice. you miss 23rd, you 24th, can be there 24th, 6 p.m. Whoa. And at 6 p.m., you start with a poem, a poetry mm -hmm. performance by myself. Okay, you and just then you go backstage you. and direct. Yes, Oswald, I, I just want to make sure that I am there. But of course, if you're watching us, don't miss this opportunity. One, the fact that we all need to contribute to revive our theater, our art center. Um, Uncle Lebo is ahead doing it, but of course, we need more who will step in Uncle Lebo's shoes. And Oswald here has embarked on that. Uh, and it, you see, what fascinates me is the fact that um, the play is by such an authoritative person, somebody who has tried and tested and experienced yeah. Ghana. 
yeah. writes the play and gives it to the young man to you know direct that play i definitely want to go and find the madman of Boga. what a title don't tell me about the title i want yeah. to come and find out yeah. but of course this 10 cds is more like you can it, this when you get to the gates please don't pay just 10 cds pay more than 10 cds for the ticket <laughs> yeah. it's, it's in support of a good cause to revive our art center so that we can also proudly talk about what we have and people come there to see not just the play but of course to see the valuables ghana has been blessed with oswald thank you so much thank um, you yeah. we'll see you there and we'll do more talking sure Okay, so um, let's talk about the Royal. I know you're excited, you're anxious. Yeah, don't worry, we'll talk about Royal. But for now, let's talk about uh, John Dumelo, who says that 24% 20, loading. What has he been loading? And um, well, people, he got people talking on social media. Well, could he be marrying? Um, but of course, when you talk about John Dumelo and marriage, you know uh, it's like this everybody is going heading the opposite direction for now. <laughs> well, um, John Dumelo says that he's come up with a video game app which is way better than an existing game. You would want to listen to that yourself, right? No, I started promoting was because today and uh, um, this week I, I hit the three million like mark on Facebook, so I use that to release the trailer out onto social media for people to know this is what I'm um, about or this is what I'm doing and um, I'm generally looking at local markets and African markets you know because in the game you see the character on the streets of Accra you know some streets in Kumasi and around Ghana and then you know uh, on another in another level you go you see um, in Nigeria uh, you know some streets in Lagos some streets in Abuja and everything so 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 people can actually relate to it you know and and we have other African cities in the game so uh, you know whoever is playing from wherever they can actually relate to it I'm like oh you know uh, I know this place I know that place uh, um, so basically that's that, that's what that's what the game is about and it, it is an adventurous game uh, it's more or less like Temple Run but it's better than Temple Run and it's one of those games that you can play and it will never it will hardly end I mean like I said it will take you about six months to a year to finish playing that game you know so it's something which is continuous uh, uh, that's if you play it every day also has something um, very exciting well um, end poverty a project by the World Bank which was launched um, just yesterday had Ms. V performing the theme song of the whole project and she's been talking about how exciting this opportunity is for her <laughs> Is it a campaign song or is it a song you just did for your album, your upcoming album? Um, it's a campaign song. Um, it's a song for the World Bank, yes, about this campaign, about this project. Were you contacted to do it or you did it out of passion for what you are seeing here, poverty? I was contacted by the World Bank to do it. Yes, yeah, seeing that um, I'm an African musician who um, takes um, a lot of time to do music about good causes like the natural girl song and um, helping empower girls and things like that you know it drew their attention to me so yeah now worldwide your song is going to be used yes yes what does it mean for you it means a lot and it's not just about me it's the message in that song it's really important that message is heavy and I mean <clears throat> in the song there's an ewe line that says mikatami wadakai means we should all come together and work hard at ending poverty it's not one man's job it's not one person's work it's everybody's work so the message is really really heavy people are really suffering and it's something we should look at so yeah People are of the impression that poverty cannot be ended, rather it can be reduced. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you think. You see, there's a first time for everything. It, it can be reduced, yes, but you never know. It's, that's why I say it's, it's not one person's work, it's everybody coming together to work. We could actually end poverty. So yes, it's just about the mindset and where we are going. Is it the child? Is it the government or yours and mine?
right? So congratulations, Miss V. Go, girl. Go higher. Go, go. Keep going. Keep the keeping going. <laughs> New ex latest expression. Yeah, that's what's trending. All right. So um, what is forbidden in your life? I, I, I off heard what is forbidden in my life. Well, you looking down on me and trampling on my right is definitely forbidden in my life. But when we, we, we go talking to Uncle Bo White, what is forbidden? And that is what I want to delve into. Um, go talking to Roverman, uh, who's collaborated with the National Theatre during the National, uh, National uh, Theatre Week. The festival. The festival, yes, okay. Festival. And, um, of course, uh, you're in bed with National Theatre, so it's okay. It's no news uh, if you well, are <laughs> partnering already. But yes. what is forbidden is the fact that you are here talking about that. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> well, do you Ronnie? want me to comment on being in bed? No, 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 no don't, don't, don't comment. <laughs> <laughs> and, hey, um, Eunice. Hi. Yeah, good. You stretched well. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome Hi, to the white carpet. Thank, thank you, Gladys. Yeah, Let's to get here. talking about okay. the festival, National Theatre Festival. Is it National Theatre Festival or National Festival of Theatre? Ghana Theatre Festival. Ghana, yeah. Ghana Theatre Festival. Festival. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, what, yeah. actually, to sum, to sum it up, it's a yeah. seven-day um, week mm. festival that showcases um, the artistry in Ghana. Okay. So, um, um, and also... Um, um, uh, it also gives uh, an opportunity mm. for us to showcase um, the lifestyle yeah. um, in the arts. Um, that is why um, Eunice, um, Eunice yeah. and his people is part of the okay. the, the, the arts. I mean, we have to leave it for Eunice oh, to yeah. delve yeah, into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, because <laughs> the way you throw it, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, tell us more about, um, is this the first edition? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so edition. what went into this? Well, we call it the lifestyle fair. Okay. I know it sounds... Um, okay, let me just explain it. Yeah. You know, we know that um, we've been experiencing first upon first in yeah. Ghana. And even now, the patronage in relation to first has almost died out okay. because of lack of creativity and yeah. all that. But now we, um, at Kalmudi, we deal with cars. So okay. the next time you want to get your next car, you might yeah. want to talk to kalmudi.com. And the next time you also <laughs> want a face for your car, you can come and talk to me. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, kalmudi.com.gh and Wave Market International yeah. and a radio station have partnered the National Theatre. Now, when we heard about the Ghana Theatre Festival, yeah. we were like, okay, we are doing a lifestyle fair. We, we bring Gain everything premium yeah. in terms of home decor, furniture, um, food, catering, ah. services, banking and finance, everything and we need in our lives. Exactly, yeah. and it's not just um, everything in those areas, but the best of brands. Yeah. So right now, if you were to go to the National Theatre, you will see all of that. I and see. we started this fair on the 15th, which was um, Thursday, Just last through Thursday. to tomorrow. As okay. of now, it's got a lot of things is happening. I see. So um, while the National Theatre with its um, Ghana Theatre um, Festival, mm. when you go there to watch your plays from NAFTI and the School of Performing Arts and mm. the Roverman people, the with their grand, people yeah, we are there also with other there. needs exactly. to support so that interest. It's a one-stop shop for everybody mm. for everything and i call it the pre esmas you know yeah, sale kind of sales, event yeah event. exactly yeah and forbidden when is forbidden screen tomorrow tomorrow we're showing ah. forbidden tomorrow you okay. know um from um from the 12th to tomorrow yeah there have been a lot of um productions being staged at the national yeah. theater okay. this evening as we're speaking there's one running uh, yes yes um flagstaff house flagstaff 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 house. Okay, yeah, 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 running. so yeah. right right from here i have to rush there but tomorrow it's in forbidden. particularly um we're showing forbidden okay. uh, why it's forbidden at this time well, it is different. Um, mm. The production is different. The fact that we employed the uh, physical theater, which hasn't been done in Ghana, ah, um, using human props. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, oh, I give it out. I would have said that. <laughs> you come to the National Theater, you see, you see a furniture move away from their comfort zone, come to a certain um, setting, mm. dancing, and go back. I see. Yes, yes, ah, yes, ah, yes, ah, yes, ah, yes, yes. He told it already. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, so, I just so, can't yeah. wait to be there. What time? Yeah, at 7 o'clock. 7, 7 o'clock. But typically, of Uncle Bohai's play, you can never come there without enjoying, you, without being served with laughter. Yeah, I know. Decent entertainment. Yeah. And also, um, you live there um, being filled with yeah. a, with a f full entertainment. Yeah. Because that's what we give you. Yeah. We know him. You're <laughs> 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 
Ronnie, so, thank you. Thank you. Thank you and for we your definitely time. will be at the National Theatre. But don't go at 7 p.m. Go earlier than 7 yeah, p.m. Yeah, because. Ticket, ticket <laughs> yeah. yeah. Go, go earlier than 7 p.m. because you've got to, you know, um, feast your eyes and get your pockets work and talking. You know, open your eyes and pick right. <laughs> thank you so much, Eunice. Thank yeah. you. Mm. Ah, and then, Rooney, All right, thank for you, sharing what you have with us. And so, um, tomorrow, make a date at the National Theatre earlier than 7 p.m. Go do some shopping. And then at 7 p.m., get yourself um, some popcorn. National Theatre allows that. Go into the auditorium and go and enjoy Forbidden. Um, you, you, okay, so now I can give you the royal wedding. But I have to say thank you to those who are making it possible for you to watch Royal Wedding. Thank you, Optimal Hair Relaxer. Thank you, Ethel. <laughs> Okay, so um, he's, he's always, always like that. <laughs> well, I believe you heard the voice, yes, but very soon you see the face too much. Um, we, we're talking about homemaking. Um, okay, so have you ever considered him ever being a home counselor? Imagine you have your problem and he's the one you're going to talk to. Um, I'm sure you see his face and you realize you don't even have a problem at all because that is just how he would make you feel. My home, he's already been given up. Majid Michelle is going to feature in my home and he'll be telling us more about what he would do in my home. But of course, I also have Mami Adra who will tell us more about my home right here on the white carpet. Mami Adra, welcome to the white carpet. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Majid? Hi. For the first time, my director could take a single shot of me. <laughs> 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 okay, that one goes way back. <laughs> Right. You welcome to the White Cup first. Let's get straight talking. My home. Um, let me take it from Mami Adra first. Um, so, what is going to happen in the home? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's almost like you are coming to listen to what can be done in the home, okay. apart from what you know. Mm. So, the theme for this particular um, edition is "And the two shall be one." Uh. So, basically, what the, what did the Bible really mean by? The two shall be one yeah. before the marriage, after you're, ma after you're married. Mm. Even when you're thinking of leaving the home, do you really understand what the Bible means by and the two shall mm. be one? Okay. You know, financially, yeah. socially, emotionally, that, that what does it really mean? stronger, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> so maybe he might throw more light on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Majid, what are we hearing from you? I'm not going there to advise anyone or to counsel anyone. Mm. That's not my job. Okay, so what, what are you going to do? Are you going to act? <laughs> <laughs> That's your job. <laughs> People all over the world haven't seen the importance of family. Mm. And they really don't know the real deal of what a family you know, consists of and yeah. how relevant it is to the society. And um, the family basically is one of the lo longest or oldest unions yeah. ever. Family was there before the government. It's true. You know, the, the government is, is, is a product of the family. Adam and started family, actually. Yes, before anything else started. Yeah. Family was there before the church. Mm. Okay? Yeah, I agree. One of the oldest yeah. unions ever mm. in the history of man. Okay. And um, if you put, let me give you an example. If you put a couple of families together, you have a community. Yeah. If you put a couple of communities that consist of the family together, you have a nation. It's true. So everything comes from the family, Tell basically. You, you guess so. <laughs> <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everything, yeah. everything comes from the family. Mm. If you have a communal problem, mm. let's say the community has a problem. The community has no problem. Yeah. It's the individuals in the family that have the problem. Mm. It's nothing like a communal problem. It's Problems true. start from the families. Yeah. And if you can correct the family, then the community will be a good community. If you can correct every single little family, then the world will be a better place. So you don't have to build more jails or buy more police cars or yeah. buy more guns to protect. Yeah. All you have to do is put $3 million in a church and tell them, let's do a family program and teach on how to have a good family and then all the problems will be solved. Okay. But Major, why did you settle for Majid? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's this other side of him that people don't know. Yeah. It's very deep. 
when it comes to the things of God yeah. and of course the family. Mm. So I, I've I had the opportunity to actually be a witness myself and I was just teasing you. <laughs> but um, you know he, he ha had a chance to at a council at a marriage ceremony. I'm talking about famous marriage ceremony. Okay. And the two pastors who were there were all like, wow. Yes. Wow. Because I mean, they only know one naughty side of him. Of him. They don't know the other side But they don't know him. the serious side of him. Sure. Sure. <laughs> they know sure. your professional side, but they don't know the real magic. <laughs> well, a lot of yeah. when they see the... Um, the poster and they see him on and be like, okay, really? Is he a Christian? Yeah. What, what is he going to say about marriage? And all mm. I'll tell you is come and then witnesses. Exactly. Mm. And the fact that, Majid, how many years have you been married? And I, over, over 10 years. Yeah. But, but then I'm, I'm urging everyone, this is not a, I'm, I, I'm, I don't categorize myself to say I'm Christian or I'm missing any religion per se. And that's because this program is, is for Muslims, it's for Everybody. Hindu people, for Every every religion, every, every tribe must be there. You yes. know, every category of religion, mm. atheists, agnostics, all of them should come. You don't believe in God, come. It's not. <laughs> it's not about that. Yeah. It's not. It's not really about a particular religion. No, it's but not religion. It's for the home. Uh, yeah. And each religion makes a home. Actually. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You know, it, it's about the yeah. It's basically okay. about the family. About the family. Mm. Stability in the family. Okay. Mm. And uh, uh, so this is going to happen when. 24th of October, 2015. 24th of October. Okay. At Holiday Inn Hotel. Holiday Inn. And afterwards, yeah. does it end there? Oh, no. The okay. new season for the show itself starts mm. after okay. the conference. And then we would have another one, God mm. willing. We'll let you know the time. Uh, and the how much is it? Oh, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> It's free. It's free, free though. You free, should. Yeah. You, you have no reason to stay at home. Okay. Come, I, met, come and I, I, met, I met a group of guys today at a koala. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I invited them to come and they were just looking at me like, um, <laughs> how much would this be? They didn't yeah. say, but you could I tell. Could tell them and, and they started laughing. <laughs> I said it was free. We were yeah, laughing, very excited. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. it's free. It's free. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Majid, apart from I, I need, I need, I need pastors there as well. I need a lot of. A lot of men of God <laughs> to come and listen. Yeah, why yeah. do you need them to come? I need why them. pastors and Be not um, <laughs> religious leaders? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I consider them leaders. Okay. And um, nothing happens without leadership. Le leadership puts us into everything. I mean, all history is based on what leaders did and didn't do. Yeah. You know, without leadership, nothing can happen. Nothing can go on. And I Indeed. consider them yeah. leaders in their churches. Therefore. They have to send right messages mm. to everyone and listen to things maybe they yeah. they haven't heard. Okay, Maj Majid, you, you seem to know the Bible quite well, right? I didn't say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am asking you. Don't worry, I'm not going to please you. I'm no, just not, asking a harmless question. Yeah, ask me any question. Um, who is Queen of Sheba in the Bible? Who is who? Queen of Sheba. Uh, no comment. <laughs> What else are you up to apart from my home? <laughs> what else am I up to? Um, yeah. I do a lot of talks. Okay. I, I just finished a, a talk in a church mm. not too long ago okay. to, yeah, about purpose and vision. Mm. And I, I talk a lot okay. these days. Yeah. That's why you can hear my voice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you love to talk naturally. Yeah. Uh, so you say if you say you talk a lot these days. You want, you want some advice? Please give me. No, not here. <laughs> Okay, the, the, so the worst vice is advice. <laughs> <laughs> Majid, thank you so much. Is there something more you'd want to share with us? I, I, our time is really, really limited, but is there something that you're very inspiring? Can you just well, drop one line? To well, it will have to be for um, 24th of October. I just want to urge them to come listen to what we have to say, listen to the importance of the man and the woman, listen okay. to why they're together, listen to why they're on earth. I mean, we have 7 billion people over in the world now, and I tell you, more than 90 or 95% of every individual, has, they have no idea why they're on Earth. Yeah. Mm. No one knows the reason. The richest man in the world, probably some of them don't know why they're here. Mm. They know the purpose of your existence. Yeah. And um, they'll, they, they, they'll come to the revelation, a lot of things, on the 24th of October, mm. if, if they come listen to exactly... Wow. Yeah, what these things, and it'll, it'll blow them away. Okay, we haven't seen you in the movie lately. Um, what's up? Um, I have been in a lot of movies lately because the movies are coming on on um, Iroko TV and other network channels. That's why yeah. you don't see them on CD. But ah. yeah, I have about eight movies are out already. Ah, uh, yeah. why are they not on CDs? Um, well, the, the filmmakers are complaining about the DVDs that they don't sell anymore. So most of the films are going on the internet. Ah, okay, okay, Majid, thank you so much. It right. really, really, <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you on the white carpet, Mami Adwa.
I uh, will meet you on the 24th of October and um it, it's and holiday in hotel holiday 9 in hotel 9 30 a.m and so make a date um it's free you don't have to pay anything um I, there's no inv inv the invitation is open just walk in you don't need to show anything just show yourself your presence is what is most needed at the holiday in 24th 9 30 a.m when we come back you get to watch the royal wedding the famous royal wedding <laughs> It definitely has become the talk of town. The typical royal wedding Ghana has been blessed with and from henceforth. Uh, oh, did I say from henceforth? I'm too excited. Henceforth, <laughs> we are going to use that as a measure. Anybody who wants to do royal wedding, please take a close look at this one. The colorful royal wedding, which took place on the 15th of October 2015, were in two stages. The first part, which witnessed ex-president Kofor and some other high-profile personalities in attendance, happened in Accra. Later in the day, the royal couple arrived at a brie in the eastern region of Ghana at a venue called The Place, where friends and family and had guarded to receive them. The display of royalty was at its peak as the chiefs and people of Akwem came out in style to support Nana Ansakwal the fourth chief of Edumasa and his bride, Gifty Auntie, who now goes by the school name Awodanswa. <laughs> Preaching at the ceremony, the guest pastor urged the couple to be tolerant with each other and put aside stardom and authority. The Akwemuhene or Denoho Kwafo Akutu III also encouraged the couple to grow in love together. Songstress Becca performed the bridal match song for the bride on her arrival. Later, she again performed her latest track, Shenya Odayami, for the couple's first dance. There were other performances from musicians OJ, A.S. Kofi Sapon. And many others. So far, the royal marriage between Nana Ansakwal IV and Awodan Swa has been rated as a typical royal marriage in Ghana. <laughs> So, Ghana's first celebrity royal wedding, um, I said it, is the first celebrity royal wedding between Ace Broadcaster and, of course, there are two broadcasters here, actually, both television and radio, Nana Ansakwal IV, chief of Edumasa, and the first lady of Edumasa, formerly Gifty Auntie, now Awodanswa. My regards to both of you. Hey, we have our critics here with us <laughs> on the white carpet. Uncle Francis. Uncle yes. Francis, you don't look happy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Chris. <laughs> oh, bless me, Uncle Francis. <laughs> I need a prayer for to say a prayer on my head. <laughs> Why a <are> furry? <laughs> I love prayer. What's, what's I, love, I, prayer? I, I, love I just got into my <laughs> my I nose. Prayer. I had to <laughs> let it out, and I need a prayer pastor to help me out. <laughs> <laughs> he says he's still a pastor. So Saturday night, after glorifying Queen of Sheba, 
they will go back to church Sunday morning to go and preach to the, um, the congregation. Um, who is Queen of Sheba in the Bible? Well, Queen of Sheba is a lady from Ethiopia who came to King Solomon to present mm. some spices and other things to him, you know, to kind of pay his homage to the king. Her homage to me. Sorry, her homage okay. to the king, you know. So she's a, she's a queen of Ethiopia, I suppose okay. that's the Bible call her. Um, but basically, that's what I know about Queen of Sheba. Ah, the children service they didn't teach me right because <laughs> I don't remember a good story of Queen of Sheba. Chris, do you remember Queen of Sheba? Oh, truth be told, <laughs> <laughs> let's end it there. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you know what Kenya has been talking. I I listened to him today, and he sounded very bitter about Ofri Ambonse's decision. Should he really be? Well, I mean, if you consider. Um, the reason for which Lord Kenya um, decided to, mm. to stay away from what he used to, to be and do, then you would understand the passion he has. Because mm. he believes that once you've moved away from what you, you, you were doing previously in, in what he, he considers to be secular, you know, or things of the world, then you have moved. But um, going and then coming back, you know, for him, is to break that that principle that you set for yourself. Mm. So then you will understand why he's passionate about it. But a point has to also be made that, like I said last week, and I've said on other platforms, Luko, before he's an adult, mm. you know, he he would have to decide what is right for him, and he has decided. I think that we would have to respect that and see where he goes from here. At the end of the day. With all what we believe in is, I mean, if you believe in God, and we all answer to God one yeah. day, you know. And so let us worry at the end be judged by God. Mm. And we can give our views and everything, but he, he answers to God, you know, the God. God that he claims he believes in. Mm. We judge all of yeah. us. So, uh, Like Mr. Duku is saying, Ofori is a big man. <laughs> today, and you're sitting like a shy guy. Is it that you're cold or you're really shy today? Oh, really? <laughs> What's changing your mama? <laughs> is it for my demeanor or what? <laughs> no, you have your uh, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a cool boy, you, you know. keep going <laughs> like this. a shy guy, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bottom line is, people yeah. have said over the period that Ofori cannot serve two masters. Like you said, is it going to be a situation whereby you go out there, go jump on Saturday, then go back to the church on Sunday to preach? I think one other thing too is not being consistent with his interviews the sort of things he's been saying mm. i've heard him on one platform saying or claiming people misquoted him in this previous or earlier interviews he did not say he's no more pastime what have you but having you know as a person as a human being having sat down to listen to some of the things he said it's a bit difficult for me to marry the two how it comes back to be singing love to glorify God mm -hmm. for me it doesn't really go down well but with you know me. Saturday he sat here and I when I was introducing him and I asked should I call pastor evangelist preacher he says um, anything goes <laughs> yes you know, <laughs> you know the thing is this it's not been consistent with with his interviews and the reasons is sort of he's been given for why he's making the U-turn mm. It's not coherent to it. That's where they who who love, you know. That's where people yeah. are trying to take him on. Mm. For me, I want to respect him for his views and opinions and what he thinks is the best for him. However, I don't want to be judgmental to say what he's doing is right or wrong. You know, he has the right to do whatever he wants. But at the end of the day, does it is it in accordance to the tenets or? The religion, you know, is a pastor. Is it in line with what he's supposed to do? He is the best person to know what he's doing and mm. know the consequences or the implications of it. And this week he was asked to quote the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> I think he forgot. He forgot. Not even one. What happened to John eleven thirty five? John thirty six. Psalm twenty three. Tension, the pressure, pressure, tension. The spell of the moment. Well, but let's let's talk about the royal wedding. Um, Uncle Francis, did you have fun? You were there. Yeah, I did. I did. I yeah. was there one and two. I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> You're there one and two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but uh, uh, it, it, what do you make of the whole event? I thought it was it was colorful. I mean, to use one word, 
to capture everything. It was colorful. Um, there was a lot of um, people from varied you know, backgrounds and experiences, yeah. mostly the media people, really. I mean, they were turned up. There were politicians. There were people from all walks of life. There was royalty, you yeah. know, at its best. There was... Um, the king of the Akwam traditional area, or the paramount chief of the Akwam traditional yeah. area, in his in his uh, elegance, there were his sub chiefs, there were his retinue of uh, Achiami and uh, yeah. Ahinkwa, you yeah. know, and all that. You know. <laughs> I mean, the display you of know the tradition. display. Arbo, Arbo, Arbo. Augusto, what do you You know, yeah. and, and all that. I mean, it was so colorful. You saw. A bit of everything, and yeah. then there was the the music performances mm -hmm. as well. You know, which which some of them were good. And the I fact that the majority of of, of uh, whatever performance happened was live performance. Yes, you know, I mean, because they as all a, performed as if as had a matter been of fact, everything so. was live. Yeah, um, in fact, we don't know if they were paid or not. No, <laughs> of course, PA also played <laughs> some, but when they, I mean, the live performances. No, no, I, 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 I heard like somewhere like about OJ, the like uh, be, 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 uh, is it Becky? Um, Becky, Becky Bonnie. Becky Bonnie. I mean, amazing voice that Strong woman. Strong voice. I, I look forward to talking voice. to her on the white carpet. Absolutely, yeah. I was, I was, I was impressed when I saw her singing. I thought also. a man was singing and I watched yeah. her. Wow. She has a story, so a beautiful voice. story behind that okay. voice. I, I would voice. love to listen to yeah. and let everybody also hear it. And then there yeah. was OJ, there was Nanaya. Uh, Nanaya. Nanaya. Who? Nanaya. 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 Oh, Pat Thomas. Pat Thomas. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and this, she, she did very well with her father's songs, right? Yeah, she did. And uh, yeah. and Kojo and Tree's song as well. Kojo song too, yeah. She did well. Yeah. And so, I mean, Bottom line is that they chose a particular way to, mm. to do their, their wedding and it went very well. Yeah. I mean, basically it went very well and I hope they, they, they live in the glory and yeah. everything that came on, on yeah. Thursday and hopefully it will be a very successful mm. marriage. Sure. Yeah. Wish them well. yeah. I'm the one left out, <laughs> listening to what, <laughs> you know, give your comments. Yeah. You, have, yeah. you, have yeah. you have heard yeah. so far. <laughs> <laughs> you have heard so far. Give your comments. Oh, yeah. I think, you know, I think marriage is a good thing. Yeah. You know, we want to thank God for all the good things he's done. And at this point in time, I know, you know, in our society, you know, a single woman, sometimes the difficulties and the challenges you go through, you know, are perceptions and stereotypes. People are prejudiced, mm. you know. So I yeah. think it's, it's a good thing. And we thank God for Gifty. Mm. They should live happily ever. Okay. <laughs> you know, Miss V has done the. Um, she actually did the theme song for the end project, uh, end poverty project of the World Bank, and people are passing uh, funny comments that um, and uh, she's as as a, she's not ripe yet. Nymphista kind of talk. Is, is that really? Does that really matter? I think being you know be commissioning a song or the people giving the opportunity to do a song i think is a step in the right direction let's encourage her she's one of ours so why not mm. for me it's i don't think it's a bad thing mm. once she has what it takes to do it why not uncle francis can she manage it <coughs> well I mean, this is a big opportunity can do you think she can manage her brand is strong is strong enough to manage and sustain this. Well, we don't know what the, the brief is. We don't know exactly <laughs> what the, she was tasked to do, apart from singing. Mm. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, the people who task her, I'm sure they considered everything. They looked at, they, they scanned the, the space yeah. and decided to choose her. I mean, I don't think it's just uh, somebody woke up one day and said, this is what I want to do. I'm sure they did a, a study. I mean, we know the World Bank. It's, yeah. They do a lot of due diligence, and I suppose this one also they would have looked at and say, mm -hmm. well, we think that she fits what we want to yeah. do. You sit behind and you're accused and you don't know what the brief is. And sometimes we're a bit too quick to judge, and I don't think that's good. Let mm -hmm. them who appointed her decide if she met the, the objective for which they set or not. If they, she doesn't meet, they mm -hmm. probably will change or do yeah. something. But it's not for us sitting outside. To be judging somebody has, uh, has grown enough to or not. Yeah. 
I mean, it's 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 absolute uh, nonsense. <laughs> But, you know, Just like Ben Branco said, uh, I think we as a people, we need to stop yeah. the attitude. There's all too much negativity yeah. anytime yeah. something yeah. comes up. Mm -hmm. I think she's a young lady and she needs such things to encourage her to take her to the next level. Mm -hmm. You know, isn't this a good opportunity? Isn't this yeah. a good platform? Why wouldn't we encourage her rather than criticizing her when we don't know the details of yeah. whatever she's supposed to do. So why would we want to do that? Yeah. I think it's our time, you know, we need to rethink about some of these things we do. The Nigerians and other people don't do that. They, they always don't. support their own. If, if, even if it's rubbish the person is producing, yeah. in public they will support the person, they will show love. But yeah. behind doors, they know what they say. Well, um, let me take a few of your comments before we wrap up. Um, okay, so concerning Queen of Sheba, you have given me a quotation uh, first Kings 10, 1 to 13. I read that. I really need to understand Queen of Sheba very well to understand Ophirian Ponsa and what he means by you're my Queen of Sheba. Mm -hmm. You make me shiver. <laughs> okay, so hi, Sister Gladys. You look so beautiful. Fantastic woman. I wish to see you one day real. Best organizers, royal wedding. Glory be to God. I'm John Mensah Aidan in Solmenya. John Thank you. How are you, John? Uh, you've been very loyal. Thank you so much, John. Uh, I'm a footballer. <laughs> 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 well, Gladys of Real Ponsa is confused. He is missing celebrity li uh, lifestyle, of course, yes. But you know what? He can never eat his cake and have it. He has been exposed with his Queen of Sheba. That's coming from you, Ben, in Kofodia. And this says, you have given me something about Queen of Sheba. He said, Sheba in the Bible is that woman who rebelled against King David. She also visited King Solomon upon hearing his wisdom. And that is coming from you, Ekufu, in, in Sawem. Uh, lots of messages here, but I see you forgive me. Who else would forgive me? Just you, forgive me. Uh, I'll, I'll do well next week. I'll read from the bottom. My name once again is Gladys. David is screaming. He's screaming. But we bribed you with Pinky last week. The cake couldn't work. He couldn't travel far. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> well, so uh, it always is a pleasure coming your way with an edition of the white carpet. And of course, I'm already looking forward to next weekend to come your way with another edition. Thank you so much. And happy belated birthday to you, Miss Anauba. Um, get those shutters ready for me. I'll be coming for them <laughs> soon. Make a date with us again, same time next Saturday. But of course, you can watch a repeat on Sunday at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. on Sundays. And then you can always catch us on YouTube just to get the first shot. Thank you so much. Thank you. The white carpet was brought to you by Airtel, the smartphone network.